Good evening. Alberta is going further than any other province in restricting the rights of transgender youth. The Premier released a video today saying the province is banning hormone therapy for kids 15 and under. As well, parents of kids 17 and under must be notified if they wish to change their name or pronouns at school. The restrictions don't stop there. Nicole Weisberg is following this for us tonight. And Nicole, the Premier made this policy announcement over social media. That's right, Jeff, meaning members of the media weren't able to ask any questions. The Premier posted the video around 3 o'clock, saying after much discussion with caucus, the province is implementing a number of policies related to transgender minors and athletes. Prematurely encouraging or enabling children to alter their very biology or natural growth, no matter how well-intentioned and sincere, poses a risk to that child's future that I, as Premier, am not comfortable with permitting in our province. Following this, she says gender-affirming surgery for kids 17 and under will not be permitted. She also says kids 15 and under won't be able to access puberty blockers and hormone therapy. As well, parents of kids 17 and under must be notified if their child wishes to change their name or pronouns at school. And kids under 15 require parental approval to change their name or pronouns at school. Diversity and inclusion consultant and transgender Edmontonian Marnie Penn calls these measures ideological and says they aren't guided by evidence or research. She says trans youth should have been at the forefront of consultations. I can't even begin to imagine what this will do to those children who need that care. There will be children, there will be youth, there will be people who will die because of this. And the blood is on the hands of this government. The head of the Alberta Teachers Association says it was not consulted about the measures. They say they are deeply, deeply concerned about the impact on the most vulnerable students. This will directly impact the way that students and teachers interact at schools. It deeply affects the relationships that uh, our teachers make with our students and, and the fact that we need schools to be safe, caring spaces for all of our students. And I'm worried that the announcements today will have unintended consequences to that safety factor that we see at schools. Similarly, the, risk the Premier also said today the province will work with sports organizations to ensure women and girls will have access to events that do not include transgender athletes. And Jeff, the Premier will take questions about these new policies tomorrow. All right, Nicole, thank you. That's Nicole Weisberg for us tonight.